All I ask for to Miss Ortiz, to Jones, is if you would, the same mailers you did on health care that, that, that you flooded the district with, if you would do that, because you were asked last week about what PACs did you receive uh, money from, and you left out a ver an um, underrepresented group as well, and that's the Victory Fund. And so I'm saying if District 23 supports you Tuesday knowing and receiving the same amount of flyers about your, your um, identity, then I'm for you all the way, but I don't want that not to be revealed and it to be revealed later by Will Hurd. And, and then we lose our democratic seat. That's all I'm saying. I am a friend and an ally of the LGBTQ community, but I want the district, the people, the Catholic voters, the conservatives, they may still vote for you, but let's just get it out there. Drop a couple of those between now and Tuesday, let them go to the polls, and then let's see, you know, if you, write, if you end up you, on Angie. top. Gina, would you like to respond? And we'll move on to Rick then for his closing <clears throat> I have proudly served my country. I served under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. When I think of national security, I don't just think of Iraq, Afghanistan, Russia, China. I think about the pipeline of talent, which is why as I have talked to, to voters, people, when I say I served under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, you know, I talk about my experiences. And frankly, uh, I am proud of all of the support that I've received from organizations that want to help underrepresented communities uh, be part of the broader conversation. I'm proud of the support from Emily's list as they help women get elected. Some people think that 20% of Congress uh, that, that currently is only women, that that's enough. You know, there's a lot of people that don't. Certainly veterans also that don't come with political connections to, to be part of the political conversation. I'm a proud member of the LGBT community, and I have been upfront about that from the get-go.